So the first step in winding a gauge transformer is first take your three wires and we just tie a knot at the very end. So that allows us to use a clamp at the edge of the table and the knot will secure it so it doesn't slip out. Then um, we need a proper length of wire. I usually go about four and a half feet if you're doing the 1.0 design. Uh, we cut the wire, pull it taut so it's nice and even, and then we tie a second knot. At this point, we take a cordless drill and we want to twist the wires together. We just stick that knot and the end of the wire into the chuck, tighten it, pull the wires tight, and just give a little turn uh, just to twist them. Usually one turn per inch is pretty good for a gate transformer. So at this point, I'm just going to leave the wire tight. Uh, let the drill just sit here for a few minutes to kind of work those twists in so they won't unravel as easily. Okay, so the next step is actually winding the core. We'll take our end of our wire, remove the drill, and then we keep the wire taut, and we take our core and we put one turn through. Now this isn't even one turn yet. And we take it down and we wanna leave probably about 12 to 14 inches extra wire. So we do that and then we stick it in from the back side, and that is one turn. So we do that 11 more times, that's two. three, four, five, and you can see I'm having a little difficulty right now, and that's because I have these three wires which are trimmed, so we want to trim those off. That makes it passing through the core a little bit easier. So we do the remainder seven turns, I think that's five or six seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So we now have twelve turns on a core and we're finished winding the core. Okay, so in this step, we have the core finished, and we want to dress the ends of the wires to get our windings. So I take a pan of ice clamp, or you can use a vise or something similar, and then we're just going to stick the core into the clamp and lightly clamp it down. If you have an all-metal clamp or a vise, you do want to put something in there to protect the wires from being clamped down and damaged. So once that's in, I'm just going to take the length of wire I need. For this, it's probably going to be about... 10 inches so i'm going to cut the wires even so i have 10 inches of six wires now the what i'll do now is i want to do my primary wire so i'm going to unwind all the wires untwist them and then my primary winding is going to be the blue winding on here so i just take the blue windings twist them tightly against the core so there's no gaps and then I'm gonna work my way up with my fingers. And basically I'm just pinching one wire with my thumb and then just moving the other wire around it. And I go all the way up to the top. So when you're finished, you have a really nice twisted winding. Uh, for, the, for the two secondary windings, we need to indicate phase first. So I take the two wires on the right since they're both coming out of the core at the same point, or the same side, they're the same phase. So I'll take a permanent marker, and I'll mark one inch of those ends to indicate phase. So I'm just going to use the marker. I'm just going to use my marker, make them black all around. And then once these are wound tightly together, I'll know which wire is the positive phase out of each winding. 
So I look here, I got about an inch of black marking on the end of these wires. So finally, I'll take the same color, because it's gonna be the same lining, and I'll do the same thing we did with the primary lining. So I'll wrap that all up. All the way up. And we keep going all the way to the top. And then we do the same for the other. Just go all the way up. And you get a really nicely tightened winding. Really tight twist. All right, so we're finished. Take the lace out of the way. And now we have a gate transformer with the blue primary lining. And, you know, an orange and red secondary lining. And the only reason I used the blue winding for the primary is because it'd be more difficult to see the phase markings in black if it's a dark colored wiring. All right, hope you enjoyed. Good luck with yours.